Doesn't stop him. Oh, I'm sure it's not. But it's, uh, one can dream. It was a it was a good try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am I building? I'm building military labs because I, oh no, civic labs. That's what did I need? I'm trying to get her maxed out. Yes, to get the Crimson Command, oh, I need oh, one more military, oh. one more civic, and we've got this. And then I'm gonna need two more to go all the way to the Night Hammer. And I'm guessing that's her um, uh, Superstar Destroyer? Yes. Okay, so Civic. Not that I'll be able to afford it once I get there, but. Ooh, you lost the planet. Ready. Did I lose the planet? Shit, yeah. we need to get over there. So yeah. they're gonna be capturing it and spawning in more. Let's get they're over there. They're starting to come in Kashyyyk as well. And wreck them. I've given the order to uh, If you look in your defense tree, you'll have the ability to research hypervelocity guns. So it'll be like two little chevron things pointing up okay. with lines on the side. Let me see. So defense oh, no. tree, hypervelocity gun. Okay, cool. If you research that, uh, your planet will start shooting them occasionally. <laughs> Sweet. It'll auto do it. I don't have to tell it to fire. Yeah, your constructors will put the ability on the planet and then it'll auto fire. Oh, that's so good. All right, researching that now. And that's for all of my planets? I'm building Golan planets. Yeah, they'll start. Myself too. They'll start applying them to all your planets. Stop shooting my space tugs! No! Damn it! If my Golan platform was almost done too. They are hitting Kashyyyk, but it's only one ship. So that's how it starts. How it begins. Oh, we gotta go through a this deep core system before we get there. I thought it was a straight shot. Damn. Well, it looks like you're gonna beat me there. Oh, they're actually expanding into this system too. They're going every direction. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're going to have to take out that Orif on the way over. Captain reporting. Let's see if I can get the research now for the Crimson Command. Yes, I can. I'm going to send a scout off to Coruscant and see if they're heading that way as well. Destroyer here. So if you just let them go, like they didn't have a planet until now. They might have Makir, which they probably do. Um, they'll just expand and take over the whole galaxy. Yeah, and they'll spawn more ships based on how many planets they have. Oh, go faster, fleet. You're in this gravity well. It's taking you forever. <laughs> we need to get over there and stop them. Because I don't think... Yep, they've got more ships arriving now, and I still haven't finished building a single golem platform. Go, Space Tug! You're almost there! Oh, we do have a golden platform online. All right, so I'm bringing up defenses on Kashyyyk. I'm going to try to hold them here so they can't expand to the, uh, well, to this direction. Um, I only have the original version, though. I haven't done any of the research to make them better. A new facility is complete. I've been too distracted by Crimson Command Our allies have victory classes. I'm almost done my economy research. Hapes. That'll be very helpful. Looks like the Hapes Consortium is currently holding Coruscant. And so we've got... Those are neutrals, right? Yeah, but those neutrals are currently being attacked by the Sea Ruby. Oh, crap, they are. They're going to win that... No, maybe they're not, because there's a couple of other ones. Ugh, okay, so we got to annihilate these two planets. One of, our systems One of my scouts is about to get to Bastion and see if they've gotten into there. No, they haven't. They're still... Vulp here, they could be there too. So they've got control of Exoto, Rishi, presumably Mercure. Yeah, Mercure. They're gonna get Coruscant. Research complete. Grab. Star Destroyer ready. <laughs> uh, well, that's why we get these these larger capital ships, and we go bomb them back to wherever they came from. That's the spirit. Forward base, increase ship production at the expense of population growth. I need to set up. Maybe Rishi's going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to... Once we take Rishi back, um, if I Moving grab that, uh, that will be my new production facility. I can set up everything there. Hmm. Another logistics facility, because I want to pick up more. So luckily, it's not very heavily defended in that it's not defended at all. They tend to want to spend more time just spreading out rather than leaving stuff defending. Yeah, so... it's empty now. Commander on deck. Do but that does mean all their ships are taking more territory for them. Crap. Ooh, and the New Republic's starting to show up a bit. 
up near my territory. Everything was going so well. Right, the New Republic is the lives. farthest from the Sea Ruby, so they're then they're just free to expand right now. Well, yeah. I'm digging in more. I'm getting better uh, defensive technology over in Kashyyyk, so I'm able to like at least stop them from coming this way. Uh, yeah, a couple more platforms are going up now. We'll need to make sure they don't have any of those planets off uh, Metalor and Rygor, or Rygar, Bastion. Mm. The fleet is currently bombing the hell out of Rishi, taking this back, and then where where do you do you want to just keep pushing and see if you can find another one of their planets? Um, uh, I think once I'm done at Rishi with you, I'll go down to Coruscant and see if I can stop them there. Okay, let me zoom out and take a look at that. So Coruscant's up here. Um, I think I should just head on over to Makir and see if I can chase them out. They don't have much there, actually, so you're right. Their fleet yeah. has moved on, so I'll just move straight to there and take out that planet so they're not producing any more um, resources or anything. This will also get us just a few jumps away from the capitals of our uh, our enemies on the other side, so. Yes. Mm -hmm. the it looks still. like, ooh, there was a Katana fleet spawn and a capital shipyard spawn at Renvar, though. So even though it looks like the Ciruvi actually drove the Empire of the Hand off it, they would have had that planet colonized before. Uh, if you look in there now, they've got what remains of the Empire of the Hand fleet getting torn apart. Oh, yeah, I see it. The battle that's going on right now. So the Empire of the Hand's getting wrecked. But if we do get there, if we're able to get, uh, I think it's the Sentinels that do it. The All those dreadnoughts sitting around at the edge of the, in the system there, those are the Katana fleet. That's one of the random spawns you can get. You can capture those and just add them to your fleet. Oh, they nice. are above average dreadnoughts. Okay, cool. Hangar deck. All right, Secure. planet's ours. And I'm setting up frigate facilities. Actually, let's just go cruiser facilities. Psh, frigates. Oh, that's right. There's just one of them. Uh, and get our mines redeployed. We'll get some defenses down here once I have the cash for it, because I don't want to lose it again. Wing commanders report ready. Wing commanders report ready. Our I like that. All right, I'm going to Makir. If you're heading to Coruscant. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I don't know if you've done any research into your defense, like your star base yet. A little bit. I got the Golan two, or no, the goal Yeah, I got the Golan two platform. I haven't gone for the three yet. What's the Okay, well once you get to the actual like the deployable star base, that's the it's going to be the uh the level 5 one from Empire at War, so the Cardin station. That's the naval command station? Uh yeah, I think we'd left we may have left the old text there, the old icon, but it has been switched for the uh for that from Empire at War. Okay. I've been kind of going full ham into getting Oh, I can get the forward base now too. What's better, forward base or the defense tree, uh, naval command station? Forward base uh, is the research for the governance tree. I don't remember what it does. <laughs> it's no worries. <laughs> there's there's got to be so much in here that you've already you've got to like forget what half of your stuff does every time you like focus on. I think the there's a hundred text per faction. Holy crap! So it's. Uh... Pretty good. I remember that it's a thing, but I don't remember what it does. <laughs> that tickles me. I love it. That's pretty good. All right, my last civilian research structure because that should let me pick Moving up uh, Night Hammer. Now I have to build. Do I just get her as a hero? Like I can just call her in as a reinforcement, or do I have to build the ship? Uh, you can call her in if you look on your home base. Uh, it's the same system that you'd use yeah. in uh, Armada Three, Royal for example. Ready. Oh, so okay. So you've got a hero there, like spawning command building let me see yeah it'll be right next to your capital shipyard at your home planet right now imperial command i found it oh, okay and so you can still cast the ability yeah but uh you can cast the ability to spawn her at any planet so you can just put her in right wherever your fleet is oh i like that. rather than having to have her spawn at the capital and make her way up there custom it looks like i was able to get there before they took the before they took course on so uh, they hadn't finished dealing with the civilians yet. Excellent. So you're going to grab Coruscant? Liberate. We liberate Coruscant. That's what we do. <laughs> that's basically the same as winning in Star Wars, right? If you take Coruscant? Yeah, I think that's that's the win right there. 
It worked so well for the Republic. It means legitimacy for my regime. We called intergalactic space dibs on a planet, therefore we win. Uh, bombing the hell out of McKeer now, and they are trying to bring in some ships, it looks like. That's just one, though. Up, oh, my ears are blowing up. Zoomed in too far. Don't do it. That was that audio balance I was talking about. This game is so hard. An Imperial fleet is under attack. All right. Haven't started the research yet. Uh, you don't know what the Ford base does, so I'm not really sure if I want to build that just yet or if I want to go for this naval command station, which seems... Not the military labs for it, though. Oh, right. I was going to build the Crimson Victory classes because I really wanted to see those. So those... Um... I've got two ships labeled Victory Two Star Destroyers. Uh, which one is the crimson one? It'll be in the second row, I think. Yeah, It'll the one be with one more of the weapons. Farthest one. Here it is. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna build a pair of those, and we'll bring them up as reinforcements. Uh, unless Rishi has its construction capabilities set up yet. What we ultimately want to do with that is uh, have the research just upgrade your regular VST twos. So, because really there's no reason you'd want to have both for her. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to have that as what the tech does. So wait, which, which research? It was not working immediately. Uh, oh. The uh, Crimson Command, rather than just have two build options, make yeah. it so that it swaps out the model and adds the extra stats. Oh, okay. So you would see your, your ones already in the field just get upgraded automatically? Yeah. I see. I don't know. It's kind of neat to, to have them separate because you've got your old ones, and then now that you've made that... The ability to build them, I guess. Well, just in case, it gives us more room to play with on the actual build bar for the Remnant as well. Ah, I gotcha. It's one of the issues with Sands if you're trying to uh, expand a faction beyond what we have right now. Uh, we use all the build slots, so it's a little bit limited in that way. This is the box in which you make your game. You've got to work within their yep. limitations. Only 10 playable factions allowed to, or 10 factions allowed. Destroy oh, they're bringing in more sure ships we'll over here. You think you're going to hit that? What are you uh, up to right probably now? You've got won't like hit four or five? We've got four that are in right now. Next, we're going to be doing the Hapens and the Ciruvia as playable factions. Uh, and then there's a seventh after that and a potential eighth that we're thinking about. So it all depends on the number of people we have to make the art assets, that's the biggest thing. Because if it ends up just being me and one or two other people, that's yeah. less realistic. But it all depends on free time for our team. Yeah. Star Destroyer ready. All right, get over here and kill him. He's just sitting here. The Hapens I'm really looking forward to because the, there's not a huge amount. No, we know that they had thousands of ships and they probably weren't all just the Battle Dragon and the Nova Cruiser. There are a few places where other ship classes are named, yeah. but it gives us a bit of space to work with the art style of the Havens, because you've got the... We want to try to turn Battle Dragon into like a designation the same as Star Destroyer, instead of being one class of ship. Oh, it's I like how you have a Victory Star Destroyer, Imperial Star Destroyer. You want to make it a whole so, like line of ships. Yeah, more of a designation like that. Cool, cool. Um... Another Imperial Star Destroyer. Well, let's see what these Cruiser ready. new victory classes look like. The crimson ones. Oh, I like it. Dun, 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 dun. Where'd you build them? Uh, I built them on Rishi. That's the new cruiser on production Rishi. location. And I'm kind of, if you yep. guys are wondering at home what I'm doing right now, I'm basically just saving up all my stuff. That's why you haven't seen me build a lot of stuff. Because I'm going to need 10,000 credits which I might actually be at to pick up our hero. On deck. So. It looks like we got some New Republic ships coming from Dagobah into Coruscant. It looks like they're trying to retreat, but we gotta be careful for New Republic attacks now. Oh, yep, I see there's a couple of Nebulons. Nebulon Bs out there. That Nebulon B model is really nice. At least the lighting looks good. Zoom out. Where am I sending you guys? Mayor. I had full. Get you guys up here Increase with the rest the of the fleet while we bombard McKeer. 
And I think it's time to call in my hero. Let's see where the research is at. Government, regime change. Has it finished? Just started researching it, okay. We've still got a few minutes. Soon I should be able to start researching my bellators as well. Nice. That was one of the models that we redid for this release too. Uh, the last one was kind of flat, so. Commander on deck. Commander on deck. Watch these guys go into hyperspace. These Increase the crimson victory classes. So when's your next, um, if you have a date, I'm curious, well, your next release for Empire War? Uh, we don't have a set date. It's kind of hard to know exactly when it'll be, but uh, we do plan on doing a news post soon covering what's left, uh, which is a bit easier to know. Uh, hopefully this year, that would be the ideal to get it out around Christmas if we can, but that's in no way firm. So... Please, no one email me in <laughs> but three months. Said, That's but you uh, said. I'm going to send you an email now. now. Oh, but God. you said. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go over to uh... his YouTube channel on his next video and just be like, and just comment. But you said. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to uh, just figure out exactly what we want to have making the cut for 2.2 versus 2.3. Because uh, I can't remember if I said it in the video or not, but it's... Uh, we're kind of treating them as a pair of releases, trying to work towards similar goals and just make sure we don't break anything too significantly uh, and sort of splitting up the work that way. Mm -hmm. But we're pretty close to having all the GC or Galactic Conquest scenarios planned out and all the groundwork done for that. Uh, and then it's just a couple... Uh, there's a couple more units we want to get idea. done. Uh, there'll be a bit of story scripting we have to do. Destroy and then it's just testing. So when we do that, it'll probably be uh, a little bit of internal testing, and then we'll open it up to uh, a semi-open beta on our forums for members with a certain number of posts, just so we have a limited but still kind of open pool of testers, and we'll broaden that as we go, as we get more confident in what's working and what's not working. So it's closer than it was last week, but not as close as it will be next week. <laughs> Destroy idea. That's the best answer for mod development. We're closer than we were yesterday. Come on, Fair enough. Deck. Uh, well, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on everything. Um, so I'll get everybody an update. If you want closer updates to what's going on, your YouTube channel would be the place to be. Because um, you actually do like progress videos every once in a while with new mechanics, don't you? I know yeah, I've so seen I the do, one with the uh, hyperspace. Yeah, I do. Whenever we have a new f feature like that, I'll do a video sort of profiling it. But also, ever since... Last September, I've been doing uh, Let's Plays in the build as it progresses, talking about what we're doing and where everything's going. So you see a lot of what's getting done, but it also is good for showing exactly what's left to do and why it's not available yet. So My Imperial Fleet is under attack at Dagobah. What's going on in Dagobah right now? Oh, the Rebels have arrived. And the Rebels, the Republic. Wedge and Tilly's ships are is who we're against. He's apparently leading this faction. Um, I'm gonna lose a capital ship. Oh no! What are you engage? Where are you engaging right now? Uh, I'm fighting some more militia up at Nalhada in the sort of top right corner. Still trying to get some of the neutral planets. Okay. Well, I'm actually heading out to Renvar right now. Looks like um. Wow! I walked into just a sh shit storm over here. There's rebels. There's Imperials. There's Oh, just everyone. All, everybody's over here except for you. If you want to join in, then we'll have a, a whole party. Come about. Empire of the Hand is still fighting the uh, Sea Ruby here. Yeah, no joke. That what? is a very long fight for them. They've been slugging it out, and now I've arrived. Uh, I was hoping that I would arrive and bring in my, my hero, but I still can't seem to build it. Let's see, what am I missing? I'm going to set you as a button. Control 2. Uh, still can't build it because must have available ship slots. Oh, I've got to do the research for the slip shots. Moving to second. Ship slip slots. Shots? Words speak. 
I've got <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get more research done. I really want this flagship. Star destroyer ready. Kill that. Squadron checking. Carriers. Oh, did it survive? Back. Survived with 600 health. That's too close nice. for health. Star destroyer ready. Now I'm curious. The weapons in Sin. So like I look at my star destroyer and it's got. Uh, let's Captain see, what do you have on here? You've got a handful of, of like turbo lasers and ion damage. Are there range variations with those weapons? Does it make uh, it Typically, right now, we've got it standardized at 10,000 units for range for everything. The Empire of the Hand Captain. has a bit longer. Uh, I think it's 11,000 for them. We want to make it so that it's a bit more ship-specific in the future, but right now, we've just stuck with the standard. Okay. One of our systems is under attack. Because I know you can hold alt and you can see what like the ship range is, but I always wondered if moving my ships a little bit closer actually made a difference. Uh, for some ships it does. They'll have slight range variations depending on the weapon types, but typically you're okay in this build at least. Uh, they'll usually, they'll have a, the way it works is however many weapon types you have on the ship, there will be one that you set as sort of the default weapon, and that's the range it'll go to, to make sure it's attacking with that. And then if it's got other stuff that can attack at closer range, it won't use those unless it gets the opportunity to, but it's not going to move any closer to specifically use them. Okay. Captain reporting. Some abilities here. I'm in the middle of a bit of a fight here. Yeah. Uh, bit of a three-way fight going on. Commander here. And then there's these ships that could be captured, but I don't have a scout with me. I, I, it's the scout that can board them, right? Or is that the Sentinel uh, that I I'm need to pick up? I, honestly, I'm not sure if it's the Sentinel or the scout. Oh, crap. Let's see. Oh, I can do this a way I think closer, it's the Sentinel. She? You think it's the Sentinel? Okay, well, I'll build a Sentinel. We'll just give it a try. Why not? Okay. Now, is our research done? Can we finally get... I'm going to see if I can get oh, my Oh, an auto-summoned her, I think. Superstar. Yeah, yep. she's at your uh, she's at capital my... there. Damn. I mean, it's awesome that I have it, but damn, I wanted to bring you into the fight. All right. Well, in. I will give the order. Uh, ruthless leader. It's got a picture with a Tarkin. Moving to Weapon sector. Down fire rate. Critical strike. I'll do that. I kind of want to see one of my planets shoot a hypervelocity gun at somebody. <laughs> All right. Looks like you've driven off the New Republic and the Empire of the Hand there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You better run. Get your freedoms out of here. Those dinosaurs really just don't want to leave. No, they don't. They're going to stick around and fight this out, aren't they? Well, your guys is lost. I say haven't barely researched any of the abilities that make me do more damage. You just got to keep it interesting, right? Yeah. It's all part of my plan. See, we're not bad at games. We just want to make sure that there's still a competition <laughs> element to see here. We do this for is. entertainment. Are you saying that we do this for the audience? We're bad it's at all games stage. for the audience. This is completely scripted beforehand. Yep. All we're not it. actually playing. This is all pre-recorded. If we were streaming, days. I could say live studio audience. But... <laughs> if we do do the big sins match, though, we have to stream it. I think that'd be great. Like, get all the POVs streaming yeah. on all the channels. That, that's my dream sins match right there. Like, five people, everybody streaming, so people can flip to the different um, perspectives. Just chaos. Uh, I looks like I am going to beat back the Lizardmen. Yeah, they've been going there for a while, so just yeah, gotta hope they don't deep. spawn in anything while it's happening. Because they, they control, control this, that planet. Yeah, they control the planet, so. Now, I see a capital ship factory. This could be captured as well. Oh, man. Is that Sentinel? There's all... They could, they could just start capturing stuff. That would be great. Research. Sentinel, where are you? Did you not build? You did build. I'm coming in through Rebel territory, or New Republic territory. Okay. Coming so to back we'll have out. to come back and mop them up at Belderone, but it looks like yes, my lord. you've got that situation under control. So I just want to make sure they don't spawn in another fleet while we're there. Okay. Whoa, what am I doing? Wrong button. Yeah, sounds good. You can come over here and help me beat back these guys. Uh, and I'm going to capture this planet. 
open. I'm gonna get a Titan factory as well. One of my capital ships is a, a little on fire. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Did you see Battlefront 2's trailer today? They dropped? No. Ah, the new Yeah, I don't it doesn't look like it's gameplay, but it's a it's a pretty impressive little trailer. Uh, space combat. Like advertising the space oh, yeah? combat. So yeah, it looks pretty I'll nice. have to check that out. I haven't I I think the last one I saw would have been the one when they were introducing the the protagonist, mm -hmm. showing like the Endor stuff. Uh oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I've gotten a chance to play a little bit of it at the uh, the EA event that they did, right? Yeah. Three, and that was cool. I mean, it was fun. The classes are back, so Come on. if that was one of your big complaints, they're back and they're a lot. Of fun. I had I didn't actually play the new Battlefront one. Oh, you didn't play Battlefront. Yeah, the new Battlefront one. I hate that we have to actually specify. They couldn't just take us under. Battlefront one too. It's like Final Fantasy now. Yeah. It's like, which one? What? Hey, you guys. Can but uh, I went through a period. Oh God, there's a lot of screaming there. Uh, I went through a period of not having the best computer, and I didn't think I'd be able to play it very well at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, when I built the computer I'm using now, it was right after everyone had told me that it sucked and they weren't going to play it anymore. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I mean that was the thing. It was pretty to look at. Like it is hands down the best looking Star Wars game. It's it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's really shallow. Like you play it for a day, day and a half, and you've seen everything there is to see. Yeah. And there doesn't there's no depth to it to figure out. Is this fighter flying upside down? Check this out. Uh, what what planet is this? This is. Um, I'll ping it. We have eliminated. So there's a fighter here at Renvar that I believe is flying upside down. Uh, nope, that's right side up. Really? That's a scout ship. It's actually based off of the one cannon Chiss ship design. It's a... Uh, the cannon ship is called the Chaff Envoy. Okay. We turned it into like a diplomatic vessel or a scout for the Empire of the Hand. <laughs> nice. But... Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be. Interesting. Yeah. They've got like the. It, I think it was originally based off of like the Ravenclaw. Not Ravenclaw, Raven's Claw. Kyle Katarn ship, not the Harry Potter house. <laughs> it's what popped into my head first. Okay. Now. Ooh, I'm getting chased out by the New Republic here. So I think I'm going to turn around and deal with this endurance. Why don't I come in there and help you? That way Moving we can both sector. strike together. Because I got this planet. Yep. I'm going to start building defenses right now. Um, I don't know what happened to my Sentinels. Are they may be on auto explore and just ran off, if that's an option for them. Uh, uh, no, it shouldn't be. They might still be... Yeah, them. you still got two at Rishi. They're just uh, sitting there in front of the shipyard. Squad leader here. Destroyer here. At Rishi? Oh, I'm clicking the wrong damn button. That's why. Clicking the wrong planet. Epsilon there they are. Right, I'm going right. to park by come the edge of the system. All right, you're going. I'm, I'm definitely picking up Battlefront 2. Right? Battlefront 2 2. <laughs> Battlefront 2 2. Or 2017, or whatever they want to call it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty pumped for it. I'll be getting it. The clones are in it. So that sold me. They've got all the voice yeah. <laughs> actors from the Clone Wars in it. Okay, whoa. Those assault frigates just had babies. Why are there multiples? That's somebody's ability? Uh, one is a. Yeah, those, they can sort of duplicate themselves with illusion copies. Okay. The, like the in-universe explanation is that there's Jedi on board, and they're they're mind tricking you into thinking there's yeah. multiple targets. It's something Luke actually did in the I think he did it in the Thrawn trilogy, where he sort of projected copies of ships and made people think there was stuff there that wasn't. It might have been in a different book, but it, it's something he did. One of those crazy Jedi powers of his. All right, I'm coming in. I think that's one of the funnest things about this and Star Trek Armada that the that you guys go so deep into the lore that I'm always learning new things when I play. I'll run into, when I'm playing like Star Trek Armada, I'll run into, you know, the random races they have defending the planets and they'll be like, oh, well that's this race from this one episode in the third series of Star Trek in like Deep Space Nine. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, no, I remember that, but wow, you guys made it a whole race and actually built like ships for them and it's just, it's really cool. But I have yeah, Armada 3 is actually most of my uh, not, well, I don't even know the right word right now. It's completely... It was in my head, but then I blanked on it. 
Um, inspiration? That's Most of them, exposure. Of exposure. I don't know why that, I couldn't think of the word exposure. <laughs> They're running. They're also screaming. Oh, they are really screaming. What are you doing over there? What is the aggressor doing over there? It's messed up. All right, we're gonna grab the planet then, I guess. Star Destroyer ready. And we're gonna find out where my capital ship is. There it is. Oh, so far away. Oh, you're not you're Super not going to where the fleet is. That's not gonna work for me. Yes, my lord. But one of our next steps is also gonna be getting in those kind of extra militia forces. So stuff like the Duskin League with all their thrust ships. Uh, the Havens are already on some of the maps, but they're very map specific instead of being on a mix of stuff. Uh, but we want to get some Battle Dragon fleets mixed in there, Nova Cruisers, just any random little stuff we can put in for some flavor on the maps. Cool. There's actually some uh, hut ships that I really like too from the Essential Guide to Warfare. They, I don't know what it is about the ships, but they're some of my favorite Star Wars ships ever since they came out. The hut ships? Yeah. I mean, the, my only exposure to what I would consider hut ships would be like the fighters from Star Wars Galaxies. Do you remember those ones as the the, the neutral yeah. side? The, yeah, it, yeah. They looked really heavy duty. Those fighters, if I'm remembering. Yeah, correct. they look kind of tanky. Like they're they're yeah. very sharp angles. Um, like they're trying to angle the armor on them or something. Yeah. I've got my sentinels, by the way. We're we're starting to board these. Uh, Katana Dreadnoughts. These are supposed to be better than normal Dreadnoughts, right? Yeah, so they've got uh, Ion cannons on them as well. All right, well, dibs. We're going to take this. <laughs> Very yeah, cool. you've got a couple of them going there. Yep, he's, they're going to okay, be so right now grabbing them up. Dreadnought crews are ready. But uh, if I remember, I'll edit a picture of the hut ships over my version here, and I'll send you a link when we're done, too. Cool. But I really like them. I want to find a way to work them in the mods somehow. Yeah. I mean, can you attach them to certain, like, planets so they'll spawn around it or something? So, yeah, well, that's one of the options to make the militia forces yeah. or make the huts, like, the uh, the sort of pirate faction. Mm. Or oh, I love that. Or there's actually enough to make them into their own faction as well. I mean, it'd so, have to be like that or, like, the, the Mandalorians if you wanted to do the pirates. Unless you could do yeah. Black Suns, and then I guess you could do a mix of hut ships and... I don't know. The Black Sun kind of fell apart after uh, the Endor period. So they they weren't very active in this. Oh, oh we got... We got yeah, Empire Hands trying to, trying to strike. Hey, don't, don't kill my, sh my shuttles. Shuttles, run. Don't go toward the gunfire. Oh, you guys. Groups and ordnance loaded. Ordnance My ordnance. couple of dreadnoughts have decided they're going to stop this fight. The Empire of the Hand. They're going in. Well, we've basically taken Belderone, so we should be able to head back there pretty soon. What I'll do is I'll order my Super Star Destroyer to actually come to Redvar to stop this push. Hopefully. Star Destroyer right. ready. Uh, it looks like you've got Belenor. Well, you want to go and crush these guys? Like, let's go in and just Redvar? wipe them out. Yeah. yeah. Deploying They've got sector. a proper fleet coming in now. We can't have that. En route. Red Var is mine. Let's go Captain crush them. Reporting. They've got a couple capital ships in here as well. Nope. Nothing yet. Coming to boot. I know they have somewhere... Or they had a couple down at uh, one of their planets beyond this. Yeah. So they should have a few coming. It's a lot of carriers. All right, now that I've got some cash. Now, you said I could get two uh, Super Star Destroyers. How do I get the second one? Uh, you need to build your Titan Factory. So you'll need to research the Executor, and then you'll need to build the Titan Factory. Oh, okay. And build it like a normal ship. Can do. Now, this one, yeah, I'll have to build. I'll build the Titan Factory a little bit closer to the front line. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Overwhelming force. That's what we're going for. Yeah, I completely disoriented myself. Torpedo there we go. Sphere. Allegiant Star Destroyer. Now, why is the Torpedo Sphere after the Allegiance? Is it that big? Uh, the Torpedo Sphere is... It's pretty big. It's just such a good siege platform. It's really good as a late-game ship to take planets. So we put it in farther down the tech tree. 
just so you don't start steamrolling planets earlier and people have a time to build up a defense for it. I gotcha. I think they were a bit underpowered in the last release, but as far as their intended role goes, that's what it was, and it's a lot, at least a lot closer to that now. Uh, it's a ship that we didn't get as much feedback on during testing, so I'm not 100% sure where it is as far as balance goes right now, but in my experience, it's much, much better than it was. Well, I'm getting my... Oh, that's the capital ship here. No, I want to get the... Scuttle, get out of here. The... I'll have to test it out. Moving to sector. Oh, Titan Foundry is in the the tactical. That's why I couldn't find it. We're yeah. missing research. It's in your actual fleet research. Planet upgrade complete. All right. Cruiser. Oh, ready. there it is. Cool. I'm already doing the research for it then. So that's going to take a minute. Destroyer Main fleet. Here. Let's get you some more reinforcements from Rishi. We got a couple of victory attack. classes just Hell waiting. Head full. Ready for ground assault. Another Sentinel dropship. Come on up here. Moving in. So how's the battle going at Renvar? Probably not well. Captain reporting. No, I think uh, they've mostly got small frigates and carriers. So we should be able to take out their actual ships pretty easily. And I've got a lot of carriers myself. So my TIE fighters are going to... Start going in and checking in. Okay. Ooh, these two are inside each other. What? I'll try to ping it. You zoom. my Superstar Destroyer momentarily. It's not bad. The Conqueror. That's why they're running. Better run. I'm going to chase you all the way to your capital. It's such a minor thing, but I think my favorite part about the mod is just listening to stuff come out of hyperspace. <laughs> oh, I love watching the fleets come in. What was the last time we had get this played together? We had a, a Star Wars strategy game, like a, a Empire a, War. Yeah, Empire War. What was that? Two thousand six. Two thousand. Oh, so ten years ago, eleven years ago. Star Destroyer Great. ready. That's that's just ridiculous to me. I'm gonna go ahead and form up. I'm gonna chase these guys. All right. I'm dealing with a New Republic space station over at uh, Trandosha side of the galaxy. I see it. It looks like they took over a significant portion of the eastern half here. But oh, their that. allies are pretty much dead. Yeah. They... They've got to still have a fleet somewhere. I see you running away from the station, shooting the crap out of one of your... Fleet is moving to attack. I've got my SSD now. I've got a little present for you en route to Dagobah, says Wedge and Tilly's. You don't say. All right, I'm going to send the Bellator up there. And I'm going to send my what little I have from Trandosha up to Dagobah as well. Yeah, they're coming to me, so if you can... Uh, they got some little smuggler ships there. I got a couple of Golan 2s already set up, but yeah, they're coming in. Let's see what they're coming in with. Those are just anti-fighter ships, so... Got the little YT-1300 freighters there. Oh, yeah, look at them! <laughs> I'm real scared, guys. I don't know if they're going to be able to even... They've got it where it counts. Hmm, uh-huh. I don't think they're going to be able to break through these Golan platforms. Unless they're bringing... Oh, they got a couple of MCs coming through. MC-40. Um, one of the... What is this thing? This is Endurance Class Fleet Carrier. Okay. Interesting. Well, if you can deal with that, I'm actually at the next planet. 
we have come out of hyperspace. One of our and systems is under attack. It is time to destroy them. What is that structure? Commander Stent, some crazy looking space station you guys got here. I just pinged it. It's got 44,000 shields. I'm guessing this is their home world. Yeah. yeah, that's the Empire of the Hand star base there. It's probably the best star base in the game because uh, they don't have a Titan of their own. We gave them the biggest, strongest defensive star base. I wonder if I can take this. Uh, Night Hammer and a couple of Crimson VST should be should be okay. As I drop down 10,000 shields on the Night Hammer. <laughs> you may want to get those ISDs to turn around and help with it, though. Guys, guys, seriously. We're, we're busy over here, and you're just Rather than chasing all the little... Let's not chase all the much little... Much faster ships. You're not oh, and they've got a Peltis coming in, too. Oh, do they? It's, uh... Just come in around the planet there. It's like a kind of a railgun ship for them. So it's good at doing a lot of single target damage. Oh, I see it. Means... Whoa, that model's awesome. What? I've never seen this before. This is cool. I mean, not cool that they're about to blast the hell out of my ships, but it looks cool. During testing, the Empire of the Hand had a attack that increased the number of targets they could hit per bank on their capital ships. Yeah. And it was right after we added that ship. So the uh, the Peltis, we weren't expecting this, but it, it increased the number of things it could shoot with its front cannon as well. So it got to the point where they were like shotgunning everything around them. Yeah. There'd be five or six blasts coming out the front of them and just wrecking anything they came across. It was, it was pretty not bad, fun huh? to play yeah. against. Uh, well, it doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. It is lobbing blue rounds at me from way out. Yeah. What's this thing? Say? It's like a sort of artillery situation. Oh, yeah. It's got it's other massive. weapons that can hit. It's range. Uh, ex the other weapons for it are much shorter range, but that main okay, cannon is what you really get it for. Now, it's, but it doesn't seem as, t like for the size of the ship, and it didn't seem that fast, it looks like um, kind of a glass cannon a little bit. Yeah, if you're able to get to it, my ships are coming in to help. Oh, thank you. Uh, Good. I don't want to pull away from the space station because that's what's doing all the damage. I am directing my fighters to start harassing it. Uh, yeah, I'm going like to help you just quickly wait. take down what's left of the station, and then we'll turn on the Peltist. Star thank you. Ready. All right. Super Star Destroyer ready. Super Star but it's, as far as like defensive stats goes, it's the weakest capital ship in the mod, uh, except for maybe the MC-80. But it's got really high firepower destroyer here all right the projectile is a little slower than i'd like star destroyers just make it look cool though i'm like just you're tracking it across the screen you yeah. guys need to stop fighting on your own look my two isds have pulled away and have begun engaging you know what no you guys are doing just fine just keep fighting and all your your squadrons are coming in now excellent back up you want to help me kill that railgun I have neglected lovely. to do any cultural research because I am a good player. So I'm going <laughs> to cue all that. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me. I haven't done. Yeah. Alright, I've sent all my bombers in uh, against the Peltist. And apparently some fighters too. So more than likely for everybody at home who's wanting to play this multiplayer, uh, on the Discord, now that I'll be, this once this video comes out, there will probably be people wanting to host events on this. So if you're looking for people to play with, expect to see like a day where one person is hosting Sins of a Solar Empire, you know, event for this mod. Uh, I bet you anything, one of our fleet operations officers, one of our admins that do specifically group events will probably end up hosting something. Cause, Cause I know how this works. That's basically what happens every time. <laughs> We're also trying to do uh, some game days organized by the team fairly often, uh, just to make sure there's always something going on as far as multiplayer goes. Uh, cool. So I wanted to do it at least once a month on top of any other community people that want to do stuff. Well, let me know when that is, and I'll make sure we put a post up on the Discord so the people know that there's a you guys are hosting it event and when it's going to happen. Uh, we just about got this, or I about got this. Looks like you've went ahead and chased down the enemy fleet. You're backing up my two ISDs that have decided they've got this. <laughs> so they, oh, right. there they go again. They're go. going in. Ah, get him, boys. Destroyer Here's here. the capital. There she goes. 
Beautiful. What are your orders? Let's take the capital Charge out. Laser cannons. They've got some more research. They've got an Imperial Command Center over there. I should probably be able, now that you're wrecking it, lots of screaming. Um, I should be able to build my next. No, I, where did I build that structure? That was Rishi or Mercur? I want to build my next ISD. All right, I am getting attacked by the New Republic. How bad? Not terrible yet, but I'm expecting more of them. All ahead. Crews are ready. I'm gonna leave Dagobah and I'm gonna send him over to Trandosha again. Yeah, I see their fleet. They don't seem to have too much. I think we've got this in the bag. You want to beeline it for their capital next? Sure. All right. What is this thing? So the attack that you're you're being attacked right now. What in the world is what part of the lore is that from? Which thing? Uh, it's it's one of their ships. It's the oh yeah, yeah proficient. Uh, that's a. It wasn't given a design in universe. That's uh, it's like a Corellian ship, and we just tried to design around that. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna upgrade it or switch it out for something at some point. But I like I see it's got the blockade runner kind of engines on the back. I guess it's got the front end as well, and it's some. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Alright, so it looks like you've got to have that under control. I see you brought in... Uh... Got a Praetor, a couple sec eaters in there. Those are capital ship carriers. Nice. And I've got my SSD coming in as well. My Bellator. Yep. Bellator there. Uh... Destroyer here. An allied Looks like ship is under my attack. fleet has been upgraded as we chase them down. Super Star Destroyer ready. Uh, ruthless Leader. That sounds what like your cool ability. Mole Miners. Send Mole Miners into the target ship, allowing a brief period for troop drop ships to capture the ship. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, that's actually a... That's specific to Thrawn's tech tree. Oh, so that ability doesn't do anything for me. Super Star Destroyer. Yeah, you won't be able to use it as Dala. All sections at your command, my lord. The more you know. I've already taken it. <laughs> it's all right. It's like we've got their capital here. I've got reinforcements moving in. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what I want to build next. All right, I've dealt with that fleet, so hopefully they've decided to surrender. That would seem like the appropriate response. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we've eliminated these guys, I don't think the Republic has much fight left in them. Do you think they have a chance? Uh, they may think they have a chance, but. They do. They don't. But they don't. All right. Well, we'll just call this one here then. We're not going to chase down every single planet. We've uh, we basically yeah. wiped the floor with them. So when we play next time, we'll have to crank the difficulty up um, and do like a big match with a bunch of people. I'm really interested in doing that. I think that would be amazing. Sure. So uh, thank you so much, Corey, for hanging out with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. More importantly, thank you for working on all these awesome mods. I mean, Thrawn's Revenge is definitely coming back. Um, you know, the Empire War mod that you've worked on will definitely be coming back on the channel. I want to do another Let's Play of that because I had so much fun last time. And I want to cover it when you guys have your next update coming out, so keep me in the loop, okay? Sure. All right, guys. Uh, if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for more sci-fi modding and gaming goodness. And check out Corey Loses. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out his channel. And also, there'll be a link on how to install this mod for from Corey's channel, because I watched that video of yours today. It was well done. Uh, so if you want to actually jump in and play this right away, Sins is fairly cheap. Uh, and yeah, it's got tons of mods for it, so I highly recommend the game. And if it's not on sale when you check, it will probably be on sale within like two or three weeks of then. Uh, it goes down to like 75% off. Oh yeah. Pretty regularly. I always see that there's new new sales for Sins. Make sure you're getting Rebellion though, and not just like the base yes. game. Because so. I think they still sell the individual ones, even though Rebellion is all of those and more. So. Yeah, they still sell the Trinity pack. Yeah, don't which buy Which is that. everything that's not Rebellion. So, But Rebellion has everything Rebellion. that those have, right? Yeah, Rebellion is Trinity plus, like, that's when they introduce Titans and uh, Destroy already. that's what all the mods are for. So that's yeah. usually the one to go with. That's the one you want to go with. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Later, everybody. See ya. Thanks for watching.